This is a 164 scale Koenigsegg Regera from Avant Style and today we are going to take a look at why this particular casting is indeed something that you should definitely have in your collection. You heard it right, this is from Avant Style. Now for those that don't know, Avant Style is actually from a brand or they are with or associated with the brand of Franti Art. Now, if you guys collect this out there, you guys know that Franti Art is a brand that does 118 scale cars. But once in a while, they do do 164s and we have a Regera from them. And I believe this is a resin model as well. So for the box wise, there isn't much for me to actually discuss. Obviously, we've got Avant Style right here. Nothing here. Avant Style once again, empty. And in the bottom, obviously, we've got Franti Art, the Hong Kong. What's the address, right? The email address as well as some Chinese wording. Obviously, the warning signs right there. The QR code right here. And nothing else. The box is relatively plain. So there's nothing for me to talk about. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it out of the box. And boom, check it out. It is out of the box. The box was a bit tight. Um, so it did take me a while to remove it. I had to tear the box out. But I don't really need the box. It's the, I'm going to display the card this way. But here we go, guys. First looks first. The car does look amazing. I mean, obviously, this Koenigsegg, for those that know me, you guys know I'm huge. I'm a huge Koenigsegg guy. And I just absolutely love this particular casting. Now, first things, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is actually a resin model. And that means that this car is actually super light compared to the diecast models, right? This is actually a very, very light casting. Now, because it is resin, I would want to say it is a bit delicate on the delicate side as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to remove it from the base. I'm going to leave the screws on and I'm just going to show you the car from here. Now, first things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the entire car before I get down with some fun facts and backstory of, of, of this particular casting. Now, first things first, wheels. Check the wheels out. These are carbon fiber rims, guys. I mean... Albeit this is an option for the car, this carbon fiber rims look absolutely stunning. Do you not agree with me? Obviously, the red paint job on this is phenomenal. I like the I like how the black strap kind of goes across the door. Obviously, we've got these amazing, amazing doors. And right? just so I don't botch the name, these doors are called dihedral synchro helix doors because they go out and then they twist up. And I think it's gotta be one of the best doors in the industry in the market right now as we speak and i honestly love the doors now let's look at the front of the car next shall we so obviously the front it's a very very nice front end obviously it's very iconic for the regera we've got headlight temples right here there's a plastic headlight temples on there i really don't want to touch the car um because i don't want to leave any smudge on it but we have plastic headlight temples you guys can see the reflection right there we have the cone exact logo in the front and obviously on the left side of the vehicle we have the wheels again once again carbon fiber rims very nicely done i mean the fitment of this is also very very nice right and if you look at the interior guys here is where it gets very nice because they've added all the details to it especially in the top right there look at that you guys can actually see the interior right there obviously it's a left hand drive you can see the steering wheel right there with that orange bit on the steering wheel right you guys can see the center console right there as well and then obviously with all the information all the details which is very very it's a very nice little touch from Avant style and then if you look at the rear of the vehicle we have regard on the license plate the center exhaust pipe right there this carbon fiber bit right here and obviously the wing that kind of extends up right all in all i think it's a very very nice car let me know in the comments what you guys think now i just want to give you guys some backstory about this car now the regera is actually a limited production plug-in hybrid grand touring sports car manu manufactured by Koenigsegg. Now, this was unveiled in 2015 at the Geneva Motor Show. Now, for those who don't know, Regera, what, what does it mean? Regera means to reign or to rule. Now, there are only 85 of these in the world. Now, one particular fun fact that I like is that the Koenigsegg actually used 3D printing technologies to manufacture many parts of the Regera. Now, this includes the static components like details in the interior of the car, under the upholstery, and the large electro electrical exhaust port at the rear of the car now this was also followed with a lot of dy dynamic components like the variable geometry turbocharger in the engine which is obviously in the back of the car and this actually allowed Koenigsegg to better tune airflow through the turbochargers and achieve a more complex inner housing shape 
which was impossible with conventional methods. So talk about thinking out of the box, because who would have thought, you know, a car like this, that goes super fast, you know, it has 3D printed parts in it. Now, powertrain. Now, this Regera has a reported output of 1,340 kilowatts, which means it has close to a 1,800 horsepower through a hybrid powertrain. One of my most favorite, I would say, fun fact or key fact about this particular car or this particular model is that on 23rd September 2019, the Regera broke the 0 to 400 to 0 km per hour acceleration record for a production car with a time of 31.49 seconds. This record, however, with a, for, for the time of 31.49 seconds, was actually beaten by the Remag Novera, and to which the Regera responded with another attempt on the 16th of June 2023, which was last year, right, barely a year ago, and they crushed it by doing a 0 to 400 to 0 km per hour in 28.81 seconds. I'll talk about a world record because Damn, that's fast, guys. Check that out. I mean, that's insanely fast, right? I mean, I gotta say, guys, I absolutely love this particular casting. It's a very nice piece, and I'm sure it's gonna go brilliantly well in my collection. If you guys have a chance to add this to your own collection, you definitely 100% should. Now, one thing I forgot to talk, talk about is this badge right here. So it says Koenig that We have the icon, right? The logo, right? That the regular written right there, 498, which I assume is a total number of pieces that they make for this particular kind of model or brand, right? And obviously we've got a Van Sal right there. Now, I want to tell you before I end, just a little story. You guys see that Ghost Squadron logo at the back right there? Now, the airbase that the company moved into was a former home of F-10, the Swedish Ghost Squadron. And as a bit of tribute to the squadron, Koenigsegg decided to add the iconic ghost symbol to the cars that left the factory. And it means that Koenigsegg is helping to show, is helping that the show must go on for the squadron. Just like the catchphrase for the fighter unit, it is a very touching tribute to one of Sweden's most well-known military units, as well as a little Easter egg on Koenigsegg that I'm sure a lot of you had no idea about. Now, just like guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys had an amazing time. I sure had an amazing time because this is gonna go brilliantly well in my collection. Now, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of such content. But just like guys, this video is over. Now, before I leave, I just want to give a massive shout out to my bud. Samuel Wong for hooking us up with this amazing piece. Now he knows I love Koenig's eggs and but thank you so much for sending this particular car over. Massive props to you, man. I really, really appreciate it. So guys, I'm going to put his social in the description down below. Do check him out. But just like that, guys, this video is over. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.